Hello student for the course of physics of linear and nonlinear optical web guides. Today we have lecture number 19 and in the last class we started the calculation of uh, pulse broadening in a dispersion medium. So, today we will going to continue that calculation. Okay. So, today we have lecture number 19 and if you remember in the earlier class, in the last class we derived psi t in this particular form where omega and big omega and t was defined. So, today, so today we will start from this and continue. So, I have eventually psi z t as psi 0 t 0 divided by 2 root over of pi e to the power of i k 0 z minus omega 0 t that portion and then the next part which is inside the integration is this one and I can uh, simplify this a little bit because omega square and omega square are there. In, so, I will I can write this at minus infinity to infinity e to the power of minus omega square then t 0 square divided by 4 that is one term and minus i of beta 2 z divided by 2 that is another term. So, take I take minus of omega square common. So, that is why this plus sign whatever is here uh, in front of beta 2 will be minus here. And now, the next term is minus of i of omega big T and d of omega. So, I need to do this integration and again this integration I am going to use the same old uh, expression and e to the power we know that uh, integration of e to the power of I already used that in earlier classes. So, here it is I am just using that once more. So, let me find it out where it is. Yeah, this one I am just for your. So, this is the integration I used in the last class. So, I am going to use this once again. So, e to the power of minus alpha x square plus beta x dx will be root over of pi alpha e to the power of beta square divided by 4 of alpha. And here again I am having my integral in this form. So, I have my omega square and which is x square and alpha I have this quantity and my beta is this one. So, if I compare, so this is my alpha and my beta is minus of i t as usual. But here my alpha is a little bit complicated form because it is a complex. So, no problem with that I can I can still do the calculation only thing the calculation will be little bit lengthy. So, if I put this thing this integral. So, let me find out this integral first. So, left hand side I want to execute this integral. So, integral minus omega square t square by 4 minus i beta 2 z divided by 2 minus of i omega t d omega only thing is to evaluate this integral that is all and we know the recipe as well. So, I am going to use this recipe and find it out what is the value final value. So, I should write minus root over of pi divided by root over of alpha. So, alpha here is t 0 square 
divided by 4 minus i beta 2 z by 2 whole to the power half complex term and then we have a root over of that thing. that is why things become little bit clumsy here. But here I have 4 and then t 0 square divided by 4 minus i beta 2 z divided by 2. So, that is the value of the integral. So, I, I already got the value of the integral only thing that we need to do next is to evaluate this uh, a plus i b form. So, that uh, everything can be written in a in a amplitude and phase form. Then I can extract the information out of this expression whatever the expression I have. So, in order to do this the first thing we do is to multiply this stuff with uh, with this. So, I take 4 common and then if I take 4 common from the denominator then I can have a 2 term here. So, I will do that first and then I can have a term like t 0 square and then if I multiply with a complex conjugate, I will have 2z multiplied by 2 all to the power half. The denominator, I have this term as usual because I have already taken 2 common. So, this, this additional 2 will be here and the complex conjugate. these things will be over half. Over the exponential I can have a similar thing. So, I can multiply this as so this 4 will be absorbed. So, I should not write this 4 anymore. So, let me write it once again. So, I have only t 0 term here and then I have t 0 square plus i of 2 beta 2 z divided by the complex conjugate. If I multiply it should be simply t 0 to the power 4 plus 4 beta 2 square z square. Here also I am going to get the same term by the way. So, the next step I should write it as the integral should be simply 2 root pi which we already have here and then I manipulate this by taking the t square common then it should be something like 2 i beta 2 z divided by t 0 square whole to the power half whole divided by t 0 1 plus 4 beta 2 square z square divided by t 0 to the power 4 and then half. We have another term e to the power of minus t square 1 plus 2 i beta 2 z divided by t 0 square whole divided t 0 square 1 plus 4 beta 2 square z square divided by t 0 to the power 4. So, what I have done is simply 
take the t0 square common here and from from this from this term and from here I took the t0 term common and here t0 to the power 4 term common. So, 1 by t0 term will be here. In a similar way here also I took t0 term t0 square term common it is half. So, 1 t0 will come out and it will be cancelled out by that t0 square that term that I took from both these two terms. So, 1 t0 will be still here. So, now I will define my t0 tilde uh, as whatever we have here. So, t0 tilde is t0 then 1 plus 2 beta 2 uh, 2 beta 2 divided by t0 square whole square of that and this. So, I define my t tilde in this way. So, that I can write this term and this term because here you can see the here we have this term and also here we have a term like this which basically characterize the width and you can if you look carefully by that time you will understand that width is not same that we have in the previous case it is now changed it is increased. So, that we will going to explain but let us first find out the expression in terms of tilde. So, this is 2 root pi whatever we have. So, it is 1 plus 2 pi beta 2 z divided by t 0 square whole to the power half and in the denominator in the denominator I have t 0 tilde square no only t 0 tilde here because this square term is not here. And in the exponential term we have minus of t square divided by t 0 tilde square then I have something 1 plus 2 i beta 2 z divided by t 0 square. So, that is the integral part I have calculated so far. So, this is the integral part I have calculated. So, if I now write the total function, what is the total function psi z t this is my output. If I now write my output, it will be psi 0 t 0 divided by root of 2 pi. Then I have the integral part. So, let me write it this 1 plus 2 i beta 2 z divided by t 0 square whole to the power half then divided by t 0 tilde some term like this and one term like t square by t 0 tilde square into e to the power of I just divide in the two part this is i of this is the phase part actually this and then 2 beta 2 z divided by t 0 square I just divide this term here which is written and over that I have an exponential propagating term which is always there. So, this is the overall expression of psi, this is the overall expression of psi. Now, 
I can write this term 1 plus 2 i beta 2 z divided by t 0 square whole to the power half as this is a plus b a plus i v whole to the power half. So, we know how to write this we know how to write this and I can write it as amplitude and phase form and if I write the amplitude and phase form it should be simply like this 1 plus 2 beta 2 z divided by t 0 square square of that whole to the power 1 by 4 and then the phase part uh, e to the power of i half tan inverse of this quantity because it is tan inverse of y by x so and half time is coming because of this to the power half. So, it should be like this ok. So, I execute this a plus i b whole to the power half in this way real and imaginary part in phase and amplitude uh, x, uh, dividing into phase and amplitude part. So, after doing that I can have a final form in this way. So, my psi z t can now be written as psi 0 t 0 divided by t 0 tilde square sorry it is not square because t 0 tilde was just sitting I remember that. And then this is the part and this 2 pi 2 pi already cancel out. So, I just now need to write this in this way. So, I write it as 1 plus 2 beta 2 z divided by t square whole square whole to the power 1 by 4 that is fine and e to the power of i I just write the propagation term in this way. After that I need to write this term which is envelope and phase so overall phase. So, it should be multiplied by the envelope term which is very important minus t square divided by t 0 tilde square and then e to the power of i a full phase term. In this full phase term I can uh, I can uh, uh, write this this. So, in the full phase term I have this one one term is this one and another term is this one. So, these are the two phase term this is 1 and this is 2 this two term will be inside this phase term. So, let me write this phase term. Uh, carefully. So, my phase term big phase phi will be half of as I mentioned tan inverse of 2 beta 2 z divided by t 0 square this is one term and another term will be minus of 2 t square beta 2 z divided by t 0 tilde multiplied by t 0 uh, t 0 square I think yeah because I am writing this one. So, 2 uh, uh, this is 2 of t square beta 2 z 2 of big t square beta 2 z divided by t 0 tilde square multiplied by t 0 t 0 tilde square. So, 1 t 0 tilde square should be here yeah yeah then dimensionally also it is correct. So, I have my phi in this form 
So I now I have a total idea what is going on here. So I have amplitude term, I have a phase term and I execute this amplitude and phase both. So now I write this amplitude and phase in more general way, so more compact way. So psi z t is now psi 0 divided by now I write this 1 plus 2 beta 2 z divided by t 0 square square whole to the power 1 by 4 this one because this is 1 by 4 and t 0 tilde if I now write it is also there with a t 0. So, this 1 by 4 and to the power half uh, this this term we are going to cancel out and we have in a denominator like 1 by to the power 4 because uh, yeah so 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 this term will be half so not to the power 4 but i think this is half this is one term I just write my t0 tilde at t0 this quantity and then I have to the power 4. So, I just execute and I have this one and now after that I have the phase term. So, I write e to the power of i full phase and the envelope term which is minus of uh, t square divided by t0 tilde square and e to the power of i k0 z minus omega 0 t the propagation term. So, I have a amplitude term, I have a phase term and I have an envelope term. So, this is my amplitude. So, let me write it one by one. So, what is my amplitude? What is my phase? So, one amplitude term. So, if I write it as my psi 0 tilde, so amplitude psi 0 tilde after propagating in distance z is equal to psi 0 divided by 1 plus 2 of beta 2 z t 0 square whole square whole to the power half. Next is my phase term. Phase term will be already we write it tan inverse of 2 beta 2 z divided by t 0 square this one minus t square divided by t 0 tilde square then 2 beta 2 z divided by t 0 square this is my overall phase and finally, I have the width term that is the most important term here. So, 3 we have temporal width. the temporal width term which is t0 tilde that I can write is as t0 1 plus 2 beta 2 
Z divided by T0 square whole square whole to the power half. So, all the terms I execute one by one and then uh, and then T0 is let me check ok here I am making a mistake. So, this T0 tilde should be 1 by half yeah because this I execute so I T0 to the 1 by half. So, I execute all the term. So, now the interesting thing is to check what is going on actually. So, my initial so, what is my final field? So, final field let me write. So, initial field my initial field or rather I should write my input was how much input psi 0 t was psi 0 e to the power of minus t square divided by t 0 square e to the power of minus i omega 0 t that was my input. And after that what we find that k omega is a medium through which the pulse is propagating and this medium is characterized by this 1 by v g omega minus omega 0 and then the important dispersion term plus beta 2 divided by 2 omega minus omega 0 square this is the important dispersion term. When this term was added then we find my final form in this way my after propagating a distance z the pulse looks in this way. So, there is a change in amplitude so I put it tilde the pulse is moving. So, I have a moving reference frame that is why t become big t divided by t 0 tilde square. So, that means the width is also changing and extra phase was there and I have the propagation term as usual like this. So, my amplitude is modified, my width is modified, my phase is modified. So, I can have three term that is incorporated due to beta 2 and now if I look carefully if I put beta 2 equal to 0 my psi 0 becomes psi my phi will be 0 and my t tilde will be t. So, here interesting note if beta 2 equal to 0 then obviously psi 0 tilde become psi t 0 tilde become t and the big phi will be 0 as well because it depends on if I look carefully the definite uh, the uh, value of phi it is beta 2 and beta 2 sitting here. If I put both the beta 2 0 then phi will not not be any more. So, what is the physical interpretation of that? The physical interpretation is if I launch an envelope a Gaussian envelope suppose this is a Gaussian envelope and I have a amplitude peak amplitude psi 0 and width t 0 when it propagates to a dispersion medium where beta 2 is not equal to 0 what happened that there will be a broadening of the envelope there is a broadening. 
So, this value is now my psi 0 tilde and this value is my t 0 tilde both are broadening. So, this is called this is in time domain this is in time domain and this is moving. So, this temporal broadening is happening. This is psi 0 e to the power of minus t square divided by t 0 square and this is psi 0 tilde e to the power of minus big t square divided by t 0 tilde square. If I plot here my psi 0 as a function of z because this expression already we have psi 0 is psi 0 divided. So, if I increase z what happened this denominator will increase. So, there will be a decrement of the amplitude. So, it will be decrease like this. So, this is I plot psi 0 as a function of z. In the similar way if I plot pulse width which is this will going to increase like this. So, this value is t 0 at z equal to 0 and it is gradually increasing over the z and how it going to increase is determined by this equation 3 that t 0 is this. So, with this detailed calculation now we understand that under uh, the second order dispersion or groove velocity dispersion how an optical pulse will going to broaden. It will not uh, broaden in time domain, but the amplitude will also going to decay that is the first thing. And second thing there will be the modi modification in the phase as well, the phase will going to modify as well. So, with this note I would like to conclude today's class, thank you for your attention.